Dan Reichert. Hi, Jeff Kirsten. If my hair looked like that, I'd be pretty pissed off. Yeah, I'd be disappointed in you. Yeah. Just as a person, yeah. 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 Uh, it, it's just, it's, it looks really kind of, a, kind of a mess there. I don't know. This is hatred. Yeah, yeah. It says it in big letters right there. Yeah, it says it in like a weird, it's the, basically the Doom logo. Yeah. Back there. Uh, we're going to turn off the tutorial. Go with the... I've heard of this game. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, gosh, it's 20 bucks on Steam. Finally came out. Uh, it's uh, an isometric dual joystick shooter. I'm going to play it with a controller here. It has mouse and, and keyboard support as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's like Postal. Remember Postal? You know, I, I never played a lot of Postal, not being a, a PC guy, but I just remember seeing the ads and seeing videos of it. And I remember being turned off by the humor, just thinking it was just lazy, dumb humor. I feel like this game might have been made by people who what is important is what I'm going to do. Played Postal and didn't necessarily think it was, like, didn't understand that it was trying to be tongue-in-cheek. Okay. Thinking it was trying to be, like, a hardcore and this is yeah. serious. Yeah. And the, the, so it's like... It's this weird, like, almost inadvertently funny thing, listening to hmm. some of this dialogue. This is the time of vengeance, and no life is worth saving. Is he basically sounds like the bad guy from Cobra. Right, right. Wanting to start his new world or something. I, I don't know. So, but it's so... It's time for him to kill. Uh, it's time for me to die. And die, I guess. So is this a weird plan, but okay. Um, so here we are. Uh, I'm using the right stick to look around. Uh, and so my task here, I can click on the right stick. Uh, just straight up, kill 50 people. Okay. Exterminate the populace. Um, I can hold the left trigger to kind of aim out a little bit if I want to look around the screen and get some of that stuff. Um, and the, you know, the right trigger shoots, I can also kick. Okay. To kind of knock people down for executions, which is the only way to restore health. Uh, Gameplay-wise, would you compare this to the original Postal games? Uh, yeah, I mean, the controls are a little different, a little bit uh, smoother, slightly more modern. Uh, you go back and play Postal now, it's a, it's a fucking mess. But, I mean, actually, Postal was alre always just a shitty game. Right. This, I don't think, is much better. Um, so, we have executions here. I guess that lady's dead. Do you get like, are you going for a score here? Do you get bonus so points that's, for that? No, that's just the objective. In order to move forward, that's what I need to do. Um, so this is not actually like, like you doing these executions is not helping you, uh, you, you That's how you restore health. Oh, okay. Is by doing the executions. It'll give you health back. That, there's gotcha. a bar at the bottom of the screen you might not have a good view of. Uh, is, that, is that the red bar? Yeah, the red bar okay, there see that. Uh, is, is your, your life. Okay. Um, so was Postal, even though it was dumb, was it self-aware? I with, think with what so. It was doing? Yeah, I mean, the, if you if you if you listened to the rantings of the people that made Postal, and they had a website going for a long time, and they would have columns, and they're like Postal Babe of the Week, and like they, you know, like it, it just seemed like they were just like a bunch of cigar chomping idiots. Okay. They were just like, yeah, yeah, that's, this, this is good. This is America, you know, freedom of speech. <laughs> Right. And, and we're just, you know, it's just a funny thing. And, you know, like, obviously, like, they went on to make a postal movie and all that other garbage. Right. Uh, this just doesn't have any of that. So, uh, so it's like, at least, like, I feel like when Postal came out, like, there was an excuse. I didn't, like, necessarily enjoy the game. And I thought a lot of what they were trying to do was just dumb. But, but you got the sense that they knew it was dumb? No, I think that they thought <laughs> it was hella cool or something. Okay. I, I'm not really sure, you know? <laughs> Uh, what the what the actual attitude was of uh, the developers of Postal, I didn't necessarily follow it that closely. Did but at one point, like you know, one of the first game journalists ever, the Game Doctor, was like oh, writing yeah. for he was writing for their website. He was writing a column for them at some point. Like just the running with scissors, the whole story, like everything they went on, it's just super weird. Hmm. Uh, and then they, they always everything they put out was just this like oh poor us we're so persecuted just for. <laughs> We're making our thing, and uh, oh, we just want to make our thing. It's just like, what's why is everyone so politically correct? And it's so like, no, right. your, your fucking thing sucks. <laughs> right. Like it's you know you, you're of course free to make it. And yeah. It's just not very good, uh, and I think this game has even less of a leg to stand on in that way. Because it just seems to totally miss the point of Postal while trying to make it. I don't know. Like, maybe that wasn't their intent. 
But to me, this looks like someone sit, sat down and said, like, let's make a new postal. Let's try to make it super controversial. And we will laugh all the way to the bank. I mean, yeah, do you think that would, like, the mission statement is just like, hey, let's offend as many people as possible? I, or maybe they just, you know, like, said, like, oh, let, let's make this cool, you know, this real fucking edgy thing. And then people will go bananas for it. Uh, well, people will go bananas about it. And they will write, they will do all our PR for us. And right. And we will make a bunch of money. Uh, and what happened to that? It's, uh, it was, this is now one of the most popular games on Steam. So it totally worked. I guess, yeah, I don't know. All right. But it's, it's, uh, yeah, so far it just seems kind of lame. I haven't played too far into it. Um, yeah, do the objectives uh, get shaken up at all? Like, or is it always just like eliminate X many people? Uh, so eventually, you know, like, uh, so this is, this is the neighborhood level. You kind of start in your own neighborhood and uh, take care of some business here, I guess. And then escape into the sewers after shooting up a police station. Um, and uh, and then it kind of goes from there. Are you leveling up anything? Are you finding new weapons? No, I'm, I'm finding weapons here. Uh, so we'll, we'll do that. And if I click in the stick, I guess he didn't actually drop. Oh, no, I, I, I did pick up that shotgun. So now I have a shotgun, a pistol, uh, and an assault rifle. And... Uh, I feel like the controls are not particularly responsive. Hmm. So, so like reloading the shotgun and stuff like that just isn't isn't particularly good. So you're aiming with the right stick, and then you're just doing a trigger with the yep. uh, for the yeah, shots. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have grenades or anything? Yep. You have grenades. You can get Molotov cocktails, and I believe there's a third type of of uh, grenade as well. Okay. Waste the party. So you see there's those icons on the map. We've stumbled into gotcha. one of these uh, potential side options where these people are having a party. Look at them. Yeah, that's what parties look like. Left shoulder, kick the door. Oh, okay, all right. Well, I just threw a grenade into the door. That figured, also opens the door. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna try to throw a gren another grenade there, but all right, well, that's... Can you, uh, I noticed the wall's going down and everything. Can you actually like, take down whole buildings and things like that? I'm not sure how far you can go with that. Um, stab that guy, I guess. Yeah. Congratulations. Um, this feels like if like CSI or one of those like primetime shows had an episode about like Columbine style killers and they had to come up with a fake game for it that these kids were obsessed with. Yeah. That seems like what this would be. Totally. Like they would show yeah. this footage or whatever, you know? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I yeah. Um, I think that they're kind of the way they kind of desaturate all the color here. You see, kind of the light coming off the yeah. cop stuff. Like that's not a bad idea. I, I just don't. I don't. Like it, it makes a lot of things kind of hard to see. Oh, apparently, I can drive this vehicle here. Hmm. Is uh, is red? Uh, are those all explosive things like in the garage? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Uh, for whatever reason, it wouldn't let me in. There we go. Oh, okay. Are you still playing with the uh, the controller? I am, yeah. Oh, okay. Is it saying X? I thought it was saying like N. I didn't know if the prompts were right. No, we got to push the N button. Okay. How do I turn? Tank controls? Oh, it's the right stick. Duh. Oh. That's a little unwieldy. That's a little strange. Wait, well, what's accelerate? Uh, it's the left stick to accelerate. Oh, okay, and, gotcha. and reverse. Is it like Halo Warthog controls? Yeah, which from this perspective yeah. is not particularly great. Uh, you can't drive right because you got all that hair in front of your face. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Well, we did crash into that house, I guess. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, so it's got some destructibility, I guess, if yeah. that's what you're looking for. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think their whole color palette thing just kind of makes things hard to see, especially the second level is kind of a sewers level, and uh, you know, a lot of stuff just kind of gets lost. I assume there's no option to like turn off this filter or this effect or whatever. No, no, uh, not that I've seen anyway. Okay, 16 left. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, like so, so far the game just doesn't seem like it's really saying anything. You know, like that's. But not, not, every, not stuff. every game has to say everything, right? right? right, right. But you know, like. Without that, this just seems like like some game developers just jacking off or something. Yeah, I could see that. Um, all right, let's run over here. There's another side objective thing. Uh, 
Kick that guy. At, at any point, does it do kind of like a GTA thing where it's like it escalates? Like, well, it's the cops, and now it's the army, and now we got tanks coming in. Uh, you know, I, I haven't played in far enough to really know um, uh, how it escalates, but it seems like the the kind of the placement of things in the game. So here's a like I guess a funeral or something. Oh, okay. Uh, that we're we're disrupting. And uh, so we, we got a, a respawn point for kind of completing that side objective. And now if we die, we can kind of restart mid-level. Okay. With the same amount of, like, eliminated? I guess so, there? yeah. Okay. I haven't actually uh, died after acquiring respawn points before, so I'm not sure how that works exactly. I hate TVs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's got so many headlines and everything, obviously, because of the content and, and the controversy that they were obviously going for. But, like... Just from what I'm seeing here, this looks like kind of a boring game. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's just kind of empty. Yeah. Okay, so we have unlocked the next objective. Cleanse the police station. All so flock in the same barn. Birds of a feather die together. Oh, boy. Right? Oh, boy. Right? Like, what? Oh, man. This is a, a dire entries of a asshole 13-year-old. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. So let's reload our stuff here and run over to this police station. Uh, he'll automatically kind of climb over stuff if you're running when you hit it. Okay. And, uh... Okay. Now this is Resident Evil 1.5 you're playing. Yes. Is that a pre-order bonus? You get the whole Resident yeah, Evil 1.5? Totally, yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. cool. As far as that didn't make headlines. I can crouch to kind of take cover. Okay. Is it not sticky? You're just kind of like walking no, alongside yeah, no, it? No, Okay. Oh, so this is set in New York? Yeah, okay. city of New York, according to the, the sign on the police department floor there. Gotcha. And you see my health kind of going down there. Uh, we're going to have to try to get some of that back. Are there any pickups, or is it all through those executions? No, I think it's all through the executions. Okay, so sometimes the execution will go into uh, that kind of close-up shot, and sometimes it won't. Uh, and the thing is, is when you're doing those, like, canned animation ones, the AI is still doing its thing. Oh, I died. Okay, so um, you're still getting so, shot like, you're while still, it's happening. Yeah, you're, you know, bad stuff's still happening while that's all going on. So let's let's see what respawn does here. Oh, it's limited respawns. Do you get more respawns once you get a new point? Uh, and it's 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 uh, so I got a I got a respawn points for completing those side objectives. Hmm. So for for going to the party and for doing the funeral thing, uh, we can now respawn. I guess maybe let's try taking a vehicle. Oh, there's a market over here. We can go in the supermarket, I guess. That... Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah, like you know, the the. I, I have a lot of mixed feelings about all of this stuff. Because I think, like, even when you look at what they were going for, I think the execution, like, they, they did a bad job of all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, if they were trying to make their weird fucking murder simulator thing, yeah. like, the animations look like shit. Like, the, the, the character models look terrible up close. Like, it's just a bad take on that stuff. Yeah, like, I wonder uh, if even the people that saw that first trailer when the controversy first started, and, you know, those people that were like, oh, fuck, yeah, yeah, you know, fuck political career, like, you know, those, those people. I wonder if they're playing it now, and they're still like, yeah, this is awesome, like, or if they're just like, oh, this actually isn't that great of a game. I, I feel like the only people that would get thrills out of this would be people that are like, yeah, it made so many people mad, I'm going to play it, yeah, you know? But yeah. It's, like, I'm, I'm just, I, I get nothing from this. It's so fucking empty. Uh, it's hard to even get like too enraged about it because it's yeah. just it's just fucking lame. 
Yeah, you know, you, you look at the other like super controversial games, you know, the, the Grand Theft Autos and the Mortal Kombat's and stuff like those were good games that had way more going on than just controversy, you know. Uh, this just seems like controversy for controversy's sake, and yeah, it just seems and, and empty. Yeah, and honestly, like that's what I would have said about Postal. Right, right. But this actually makes me like it, it, this has reframed some of my thoughts about Postal. And be like, you know what? At least those guys, <laughs> like, probably felt like they were going for something. Yeah. Whereas this just seems like empty fucking brain dead shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll pick up more ammo for weapons as we kind of take these guys out, these armed guys. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll drop what they're holding. And, uh, you know, later on in the game, that kind of lets you ch toggle between different weapons if you so desire. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, this guy's... I'm finding it not really easy to control with the controller. Um... And I, I find I'm missing a lot of shots, but I found I was missing even more with the mouse and keyboard. Huh. Are you able to... Uh, is there sensitivity options? Yeah, there's, like? there's stuff like that, but it's, it's, it just... The whole thing just feels finicky. Hmm. When I heard a dual stick shooter, I was thinking it was just like, you know, right stick just shoots, Right, you know? yeah, not actually have a shoot button. I yeah, think, I think yeah. that would have been... I, uh, I think that's a better choice for a lot of dual joystick games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know that it would have made this any better. Like, right, this, there's, right. you know, this thing has... That was the missing piece. Yeah, that was the thing. <laughs> like, everyone would have been like, oh, <laughs> okay, I see what you're trying to do. It's so, like right here, the, the black smoke is obscuring my view. I'm like trying to go for this execution to get my health back. Yeah. And it's kind of, you know, hard to do that. Apparently, I just stabbed that car to death. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, which is the first thing in this game that has been kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, this doesn't make me angry or anything. I just think it's lame from what I've seen. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like on one hand, it's like you know, I think you know, if you're gonna dedicate yourself to kind of freedom of expression, you have to take the good and the bad together, right? You know, you, yeah. you can't have it only when you agree with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, they have 100% every right to make this game for sure. But it, yeah. Well, I don't know what the rules are in their country. I think they're, they're oh, Pol that's they're, right. They're I'm, Polish, so I don't. You know, I was thinking America rules. There's, there's that whole thing, but um, yeah. so I, I can't. I can't really say one way or the other. There, uh, I assume it's fine, because um, you know. I mean, let's face it. It's America tends to have its views on violence and sex that are a little different from the rest of the a bit. Rest of the world. Uh, Alright. It's it's weird in retrospect that so much of like GTA's initial controversy was like, ah, you can kill hookers and get your money back. When like I yeah, yeah. I mean that that's it, that was always the headline. It was never the like, oh, you can just go kill a billion cops and you know, do drugs and all this stuff. It was like every mainstream outlet just focused on that hooker thing. So well there, much. there was the hooker thing, but I think that I mean there certainly were, you know, outlets that were focusing on the, the yeah on the cop killing aspect of it. Right. Um and, you know, I, I think the, the difference there is, like, the, the thing for me that always made the, the kind of the, the prostitute situation, like, not a huge focus uh, was that the, the game never told you oh. to do that. No, you it was know? just one was, of the billion was, things you could do. Yeah, it was kind of like, in, in a game full of options, like, this is one of them. And, right. And I don't, like, I don't necessarily have a problem with that. I understand why people would. Uh, but that wasn't the thing that set off, like, any alarm bells on, on my end. You know, it was stuff where... You know, I mean, the game is very much saying kill a bunch of cops. Like, you know. Oh, GTA? Yeah, GTA. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, you know. There are missions you absolutely have to kill a bunch of cops. Yeah, and, you know, I understand why people would be unhappy about that. Right. Uh, but also, you know, th th this is a world where, you know, there are tons of films and other Crazy. forms of media that, you know, have an awful lot of. Uh, often meaningless violence in them, you know? Like, yeah. the, that sort of stuff is, is certainly not new and not exclusive to games. Right. Uh, just, I think a lot of people freak out because of the interactive nature of games, you know, when they talk about murder well, yeah, I think there's stuff. some of that, but I think there's also, you know, you have some people that kind of just view games as being for children, and, and I yeah. think that, that that, 
when you take that into account, it can be difficult to reconcile like something like this with like that perception of games. Right, right. Because then it's just like, they're turning our kids into murderers. It's like, well, I mean, this game is rated AO. Yeah. Uh, that's not to say that it is difficult to acquire if you are underage. All Steam does is a, an age gate check, you know? I'm pretty sure those are foolproof. Uh, you know, I think all those adult That's true. websites it, it and does, everything. It does ask you for your birthday, and then... And, and, and most mice nowadays have fingerprint readers and stuff, and they can tie it to your social security and your age and birth oh, certificate. Oh, of course. And... Gosh, why didn't I even think of that? Yeah, yeah. if you're under 18, oh. you can't see porn. Uh, I don't if you're think under 18, I don't think you can click on this video. There's no way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, like, it, it would be relatively trivial for, a, you know, someone under the age of 18 to acquire this. Right. Um, so... I, you know, there's that, but uh, you know, you could say that about every every single piece of uh, objectionable, made for adult type content out there. I don't think there's anything out there that is actually completely kid proof. Yeah. yeah, not to that. I don't think that excuses it, but you know, it's like the system is hardly foolproof across the board. Right, right. Um, so, so after this, this is kind of you know the the next level here uh, will be this kind of sewer area. Um, The death. You know, I'm kind of surprised. I haven't really seen any headlines or videos. Like, it seems like the mainstream Fox, CNN crowd has not really picked up on this. Which uh, they're is, never going to pick up on something like this day of release. You know, it's always the sort of thing right, that, like, you yeah. know, it, it bubbles around in, in kind of our realm for a little bit, and then you know maybe picks up enough steam to, to well, make it. Did, didn't Medal of Honor make it before release? So when you could play as Al Qaeda. Like, I feel like, didn't... Yeah. That made it before, yeah. and then they changed it, right? They did, yeah. And, and that was a case of, like, you know, it's a major publisher. It's a, you right. Know, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, kind of puts that on people's radar in a very different way. Right, right. Uh, also, you know, the minute you can say a word like Al-Qaeda, it becomes... <laughs> yes, a you very, play as Al-Qaeda, and the objective is to kill... Yeah, that's... Like, that's a very different thing. Yeah. Uh, so these SWAT guys take more shots to bring down, and, you know, they do more damage, but it's also... Well, shit. I didn't have nearly as much trouble last time I did this. They've patched this game, I think, every day <laughs> since it's released. Oh, well. Uh, I, don't, I haven't really seen patch notes, so I'm not really sure what they're doing. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, I wonder if this will kind of become controversial. I, like, I look at it and go, like, you know, this, this was all, it all, it's controversial time kind of came and went. And then they delivered the final product, and it was like, oh, this thing just sort of sucks. That's like, a, like I, you, you know, the, the content of it is, is kind of profane and... and and, you know, kind of deliberately disturbing, you know, that's obviously what they were going for, so... I mean, that's the thing, is like, regardless of how lame the game is or how not huge it is or whatever, I, I'm sure that if some Fox and Friends producer or something saw that they would, you know... I, I could see this eventually in, in a month or so being on mainstream news. Yeah, it'll be one Couldn't of the things like, oh, like, no one's even talking about this anymore, everyone's kind of forgotten about it, and then, right. and then all of a sudden it's, it's everywhere all over again. Yeah, and then like family members are asking me about that hatred game at Thanksgiving or whatever, and then what I What about be, like, that murder porno game? Like, oh, uh, nope, no one actually plays that game. <laughs> no more useless words. Like, every line of dialogue I've heard is... Like, like, Postal would, you know, like, had... Like, the original Postal had dialogue. Right. You know, I had a suicide button. You know, you just kind of blow your brains out or whatever. And sometimes he would say, only my weapons understand me. Hmm. And I always thought that was funny in a really <laughs> dumb way. Um, I don't get that vibe from anything here. <laughs> Are there any even, like, attempts at humor here? Or is it all just kind of played like the straight-faced, hardcore murder? I don't really know. It's either all <laughs> super funny or none of it's funny, right? I mean, it's like the, the dialogue is... Terrible. Birds of a feather die together is a terrible. Line. Yeah, like that's that's not not even like a well, this is bad in a funny way yeah. thing. It's just like wow, you guys like. He actually sounds like John St. John. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the if you go through the credits, I want to say the voice actor is in there under a pseudonym. Okay. As if this was too edgy and he didn't want to oh, put his yeah. real name on it or something. Alan like, Smithy. Right. Uh, it's like what? Really? Okay. <laughs> um. But, you know, I, I haven't seen the entire game, so I, I, I can't say. Maybe it does become way more objectionable later on. The stuff I've seen so far, it's just, it's shitty. Yeah. Uh, and, and obviously, obviously designed to be that kind of fucking headline-grabbing thing, you know? Yeah. Uh, but I think even in, the, in that world, 
uh, I think this is this just comes across as as a little thin, a little half-assed. I don't know. Yeah, like just it's the vibe I'm getting here. Just kind of not a lot to it, and it just sort of sucks, and you know, not a lot of thought going into the gameplay or something. It's just kind of this boring thing. Yep. That you could theoretically buy for twenty bucks. That uh, is something you can do. But I, you know, from from the time I've spent with it and kind of seeing some of the later parts of the game uh, as well, like I don't know that I would recommend that. I feel like it kind of just fails on all fronts. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's that's hatred. That was hatred. That was hatred. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs>